Can we open up the meeting of the Woodbury Select Board for February the 13th, 2023? Our start time is 6.03 p.m. So if you call the meeting to order, we have two Select Board members present. Any adjustments to the Select Board agenda? Um, Stephen Murphy was going to come and talk to us about pre-town meeting for the Friday get together. Saturday. Saturday get. Excuse me. Saturday get. Oh Saturday. no, they're also but doing one on pre, a Friday, the February twenty fourth. The twenty fourth. That's yep. the school thing, right? Yes. Yeah. And here he is. Here he is. All right. All right. So here's our adjustment to the agenda. Can we make an adjustment <laughs> to the agenda to make sure that Stephen Murphy has time to introduce? His idea for a pre-town meeting on Friday the 24th. Mm, great idea. And I would like to put that in at um, after we have the town clerk's report and the town treasurer's report. So we'll do it. Oh, shoot for it around 6:25 p.m. Stephen, is that okay with you? Yes, thank you. That's my adjustment it, to the is agenda. Is Alfie coming? Do you know? Does anybody know? This morning he said he was. Yeah, okay. Well, well if he we comes, we probably should should let him go first. If Alfie comes. But Okay. If we're not done by if we're done by six twenty five, then that's good too. Other adjustments to the agenda. Well, <laughs> Hearing none. Wait, there might be one walking in. Oh. oh. Public comment, maybe. Okay. <laughs> Hello. 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 Hello, Mr. Hey, Harvey. Great, good to see you. How are you? Good. Good. Maybe. We were uh, just doing adjustments to the uh, agenda, but we're not in the public comment quite yet. What was the agenda you changed? Let me give you a copy of the agenda. We're just starting. I tried to write a light, but I couldn't, I couldn't find my headlight. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> They're talking about Portland, Stephen Murphy in right around 625 to talk about the free town meeting. Okay. okay. Yep. So if you Thank want you. something that's not on the agenda, then you just tell us that just, now. Just tell us. Seem okay? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So we'll move on to approving bills and payroll orders. Uh, Diana Peducey has looked through these. I have not yet, but they will be approved immediately after the meeting today. And we have approval of minutes from the January 23rd meeting. I've reviewed these. Mm -hmm. Diana's yeah. reviewed these as well. I am signing them right now. I've reviewed them. So these are both signed by 607. <laughs> And we're open for public comment. <laughs> Sir? I'd like to make a comment just to give some updates about some of the activities that the library is doing. But that was what you were here for on the, uh, the agenda? This is different. 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 Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to mention that the library is working on some promotions for town meeting and to increase participation in town government. And on February 21st, there will be a, a speaker in Woodbury School Gym at Susan Clark. She's an author. She's the moderator in the town of Middlesex. Um, that'll be February 21st at 6.30. And February 24th, we'll be having in cooperation with the school, a mock town meeting at the school. The principal and the teachers and the students will be forming a, a, an agenda, likely with two questions, two articles, 
and we'll have a, a mock town meeting at the school and some of the town officials will participate. Um, That's at 8 a.m., correct? 8 a.m., yep, yep, February 24th. And our library director, Myrna, has ordered and received some books on town meeting, uh, civics, and government. She'll be also working with Lisa and the school to hold the story hour. And then we have an event planned for March 4th for the pre-town meeting forum. And we'll talk and about that you later. have time for that. Yeah. And so, Stephen, yeah. would you mind reviewing? Susan Clark is going to come... What day? February, February 21st. 21st to Tuesday, 6.30 yep. at the school gym. And that space is already set, right? Yes. And then we have our school student, elementary and middle school student mock town meeting. Yes. Yep. 8 a.m. on February the 24th. Yes. Will any of the students be there? Yes, yep. Even though it's vacation? I believe it's not vacation. I believe vacation starts Monday. Right, it goes through town meeting. It's right. February 24th. Fourth. So it's the 24th. It's the, it's the Friday before. It's the vacation. last. Okay. It should be the last day of school. Yes. Okay. It's the last day of school. So it's yep. 8 a.m. Oh, on the last day. So then vacation starts on the 27th. That's and correct. Goes through the okay. Yes. But okay. Go through the 8th. So that works out okay. really, really nicely. Excellent. And lastly, I'd like to announce that the library will be holding pie breakfast. Pie breakfast returns. Mm -hmm. March 25th. Wow. So we'll be talking about that at trustees meeting on Thursday, this Thursday, the 16th. Mm -hmm. So we're looking for volunteers, pie bakers, mm -hmm. pie cutters, mm -hmm. uh, set up, right down. So we're pleased that pie breakfast returns. So look forward to seeing everyone there. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Lovely. Hi. Thank you, Steve. Hello. How are we doing? Yeah. You haven't right. missed much. <laughs> Any other public comment? See if All right. Uh, may we please have the town clerk's report? The first thing is, I have received multiple complaints about a young lady walking door to door, mm. Mm. requesting money and or rides. Mm -hmm. And there was one residence where she tried fortune herself in, so they now have a restraining order against her. Mm -hmm. uh, no, uh, no trespass mm -hmm. order against her. Mm -hmm. And it's not just on Route 14; it's out on up on East Hill and mm -hmm. those roads also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Do you have a name that goes with this? Are we allowed to say a name? <laughs> I, I guess think not. It's, a, you right. know, it's just a, a right, so thing we, we can do. But, all right, yeah. so that's fine. Yeah. It's a drug issue that it's um, it took it the next like step. It would seem like the person on the age jilt could take care of that, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> the worst thing is once you open your door, um, they come back. They expect. I'm, I've been watching for her because I got into that. It, Sucked into that one time, yeah, yeah and, and, scary and helped her out, and it's, she was very polite and nice. But you know, then I realized where she was going in there. <sighs> okay. Um. Hmm. Okay, so we've had multiple complaints about that. I guess the biggest thing for that is to call the state police because at this point, it's it's. Um, it's hard for me to do that if I do not have a name. So we can do that in a different mm -hmm. capacity. Mm -hmm. And that's fine. But if somebody comes I, knocking that is half dressed and looks very strung mm -hmm. out, strung out, um, but doesn't want to, doesn't want you to call the ambulance. No, does not want to ride to mm -hmm. rehab. No, mm -hmm. wants okay. money for more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's um, it's sad, mm -hmm. but 
numerous people have come in and they're scared. Okay, so mm -hmm. I will uh, I will make a statement to Washington County Sheriff's Office and the State Police about people going door to door. I will disclose names. Yeah. And Here. that can be Call separate. Camera. Uh, Ms. Durkee. And I got an email from the world today wanting to know if we want to post our town warning in the world paper. Yes, please. No, I don't think we do. I do. But the whole thing? Because, I mean, some towns do, and you have to if you can't get your town report out in time. We don't have to publish the entire thing. We have to publish the warning. Well, the warning is the whole list of all the articles. Yes, well, 37 articles. Yep. Yeah, it's usually like this long for most towns. Yeah. How much is it going to cost us to publish that? Do you have any idea? That I don't know. I'll have to come and find out. Would you find out? Sure. Because I would be in favor of publishing it. Okay. I'd like as much advocacy and awareness of this as possible. So if it's not going to be exorbitant in terms of price, the world is so freely available, right. I'd like to have it out there. Okay. All right. So, I but I, tomorrow. but if you don't mind, I'd like some, I'd like a number first. Okay. But I would be in favor of it. Okay. Even though, we have like even until though the Diana is not. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> I'm only one right. out of two. All right. So. So. All right. So. Uh, we still have a but it, but we will we will we will figure it out as soon as we know as soon as we have a number then she and I can fight about yeah. it. Okay. Yeah. Right. Whatever. No, if you feel strongly, that's fine with me. That's all right. But let's talk. Well, let's talk about it after we have a number. Okay. Mm -hmm. And some of the townspeople have received their town report yet. Me myself have not received one. But I have not received one. I don't know. But he might have taken us off the list. I think he did say that because yeah. Cause I don't like spending the money on. Yeah. So he should, should be a box. Looks like Kenny got him. his. Did you get your town report? Yeah, but if you don't have one, I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> I scored two out of the trash at the post office today, so I'm all set. I got one for home, one for the office. Oh, God. All right. <laughs> It's pretty. It's just, nobody it's, came and asked me why I was digging through the trash. It gets darker and darker. <laughs> Even though it's getting towards spring. All right. Um, In the gym, I've got that all set aside for town meeting day. Lovely. So we're all set there. And for the the pre-town meeting, I plan on going in Friday before and turning up the heat. So it's not super mm -hmm. cold in there at 8 o'clock mm -hmm. in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be there Friday at 7. I agreed to be there. So I'll be there Friday at 7. If you're there 7.30, you know, mm -hmm. or so, we get things set up. I'm Friday. sure Stephen will, oh, for Stephen, be Stephen will be there. Sure. We haven't actually brought this up yet but it sounds like a good plan yeah. Friday at the school for the school thing you mean this is for our pre town which is meeting. on Saturday town hall. meeting right at yeah. the town hall which, at the town which is hall Saturday. and then Stephen has got something set up before our pre town meeting oh, right. so That's I want right. to make he sure that he is up that. so uh, we're yeah. Stephen's going to talk about this okay yep. but great thank you yeah, and that's what I have for today. Lovely. Right. Oh, we're about on time. Yeah. Can we have the town treasurer's report, please? Mm -hmm. um, I've given you re your reports. Uh, cash receipts, we took in $5,323.34. Um, late peach permits are coming in. We also had records, restoration copies, dog licenses, and fire department insurance, a town hall rental, hmm. prepaid taxes. Um, what went into direct deposit, Swenson's quarterly went in of $8,994.85. Direct deposit from the state of Vermont for traffic fines, $408.50. VHFA. Hmm on delinquent taxes deposited $13,449.36. Mm. 
payroll over the last three weeks, $13,673.61, and accounts payable of $16,518.06. Um, what's still left to collect for delinquencies is $122,366.22, bless you. Got it. So goodies, um, I'm applying for BLCT grant again for the $6,000 to try and get um, security cameras installed at the town office. Um, so I'm working, Tim Higgins is gonna be get, getting me a typed up quote, and then I'm gonna proceed um, to BLCT and see if I can get that done for this calendar year. Um, other goodies. Not much. Tim's going to give us a quote. Yes. Okay. How is it? Is uh, traffic out there still going on? Oh yes. Yeah, at night. I Early in the morning, also. Oh. Yeah. You know, I saw somebody in Top the other day. He says I went by at five o'clock in the morning, and they were right out mm -hmm. there pedaling. Mm -hmm. I interrupted them the other day mm -hmm. when that I is... worked late. Yeah. So. I, I dropped in at 9 o'clock, I think, last night. Yeah. And it was a busy scene. They, so we they did to, a drive by um, <laughs> and then eventually left once. Yep. So I interrupted. Yeah. Oh. Yep. And so did I, apparently. But, yeah. Uh, not that they stopped doing anything they no. were doing. Just kept going. So. Well, thank you for that. Thank you for applying for that grant. And um, maybe next time we meet, we will have a quote from Tim. Oh yes, yeah, we should by tomorrow morning. Oh, goes. lovely, yeah. even better. And we have the calendar year to um, to get it completed. To I would just rather have it sooner than later. Okay. But when will they announce those grants again? I mean, like when it's that guy. It's on a calendar it's a, year, it's a, so as soon as I apply for it. Oh, okay. It's, it's, so you don't have to wait till they come around. It's a, it's a, oh, okay. That grant is basically rolling. Mm -hmm. um, so. Do you happen to know? And I'd love to get started on this, um, on the Valley Lake Road grant, the 45000 yep. Do you have the backup to that? Um, I, have to, I have to talk to Michael. You mean the one that Michael's working on, been working on? I have to talk to Michael before I... Okay. I, I, and no, I will, so I, I will, tried I, sending an email. I will, I will gently it's ask. It's on hold. No, it's on hold. Right now it's on hold. It's on hold. I'm afraid I don't have That's enough okay. data to... That's okay. I just wanted to, to read that. the RFP and get it started to get rolling. But. Sorry about that. I'm but sure. Michael knows the timeline, and he's keeps saying he hasn't done it yet, but he knows the timeline, right? So well, we didn't put it on the budget for next. It's not on the budget year. for next year. And so it, yeah. it for will this have year. to be done by yeah. June 31st right. yeah. to find a contractor right. to he do knows that, that design is yeah. crunch time. Mm. Um, yeah, really. I will. I will gently ask. I gently tried, but I understand. Mm. Otherwise, we have to push it. Yeah. Sorry for that. Uh, Miss Brandy, anything else? Uh, I don't believe so. Okay. So we're right on time so far. I'd like to ask Stephen Murphy to bring up his pre-town meeting discussion so that we can... Um, Make sure that we're all set for that. Stephen, please. Okay, thank you. So, again, the library is going to hold an event on March 4th, that's Saturday, from 8.45 a.m. to 9.45 a.m. That will be immediately preceding the pre-town meeting informational forum. And the event the library will put on is called Town Meeting Talk. I'm sorry, town government talk. And it will involve current and former town officials and members of the public getting together to ask and answer and discuss questions. Uh, a, few, a few suggestions that came up at library trustees meetings were, for example, what are the rules of procedure at town meeting? So we could discuss that. What are the roles of the town officials? We could discuss that. And then also, I'd like to encourage former and current town officials to 
to talk about their experience in public service and, and serving in town government. Um, tell stories, stories of hardship, st stories of humor, <laughs> so the, the whole range of human experience that comes with serving your town government. So we'd like, like it to be informative, uh, inspiring, and dare I say, fun. So, um, to leave again, out the scary I parts? I don't think the hall is going to be big enough to lay over there. No, okay. Let's fill the hall. And I think it would be a good opportunity to uh, sh show appreciation for the people that, that have served mm -hmm. and served the town and maybe try to inspire more people to come out and, um, and take part mm -hmm. in public service and participate in our government. So... Great. That's our hope. Uh, and we'll be there at 8.30 uh, for coffee and pastries for 15 minutes before the event starts. And we will we'll attempt to get uh, an organization to, to host that, the, the, um, the coffee and pastries. Maybe the Friends of WES or maybe a group from Hazen, um, and they can use that as a fundraiser. Um, and then the event will end at 9.45, and that will leave us 15 minutes to prepare and transition for the, the pre-town meeting forum. And that's that, so thank you. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you for helping us organize and get that together. I think it's going to be uh, really useful for the people who actually do want to be engaged. Mm -hmm. All right. How can we make sure that it is well advertised? Well, the library will be doing some promotions. Um, okay. We can we can all spread the word. Uh, <laughs> we have some public officials in the room. We can get started <laughs> right here. We could fill seven or eight seats among us. Um, <laughs> And spread the word, encourage folks to come out. Um, yeah, and the, the library will be doing some advertising. If you have any ideas, um, Mr. Key, do we have them. any 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 funds that are available for general advertising? I think we do, right? Yeah, and your so, financial statement. Yeah, I'm sorry. We have, I, we've got Front Porch Forum and we have Facebook page that FBF, are free. Facebook. Yeah. Right. Um, but we, do we have? Can we? Can can we put this in any other location? Public. You were the I mean, chair. You, absolutely. Well, I mean, no. We I can put it on the bulletin board by the post office. <laughs> no, that's it, not like you know in right, the so we can in the locked in glass one, so the wind doesn't blow it away. Mm -hmm. Right. So we can put it up. A uh, schedule of these different events. We can put it up at the office. We oh, absolutely. Put yeah. it up. Yep. Right there. And maybe the school will attach it in your newsletter that goes home. And that's what I was thinking as well, is that maybe it can go in the mm -hmm. school newsletter. So are you comfortable with me asking OSSU about putting that into the regular Woodbury school newsletter? Yes. At least it goes to the 400 kids, the parents that we have around. Yes, please. Is that reasonable? And okay. I'll, I'll keep you, Robin, mm -hmm. and Chris updated about the uh, advertisements and promotions, yeah. Okay. Is somebody going to make a little poster? <coughs> sure, I will. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sure. No, if there's somebody that, among your group that does graphics, well, somehow I think do that, that actually so what easily. What would be more fun is because the students are actually involved in part of this. Students can Not make some stuff. stuff. Not the Saturday I'll part. work on that. I'll work on that. Right. Is anybody, yeah. uh, are you involved at all in the attempt to have Child care for town meeting day. No. 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 I so, don't have somebody? any updates on that. Okay. Yeah. I did want to say one more one more item. We're working on this also. Um, we got permission from Hardwick Community Television. I greatly appreciate that. <laughs> to use portions of past videos of Woodbury's town meetings. Um, we could produce from from those videos some still frames, some photographs, mm -hmm. and we'll uh, have an exhibit at some of these events. My son is working oh. on that, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I'll work on that with him. Mm -hmm. And also, I spoke to um, 
Elizabeth Dow. She's a director of the Hardwick Historical Society. I was wondering if they had some historical photos of Woodbury's town meeting. She said they didn't, but um, she led me to, uh, through a Vermont, my, my Vermont Gov website. It's a, it's a public site where you can create an email or an account and get access to uh, old digitized versions of the Hardwick Gazette going back to, I believe it's 1891. Wow. So there mm -hmm. we'll be taking some excerpts from those oh. old newspapers that have articles about the town meetings, Woodbury mm -hmm. town meetings. Um, and then they start featuring photographs in the 1960s. Mm -hmm. And we're, we'll, we'll try to get some excerpts from those photographs and some articles and take some photographs and more current town meeting and make an exhibit. Yeah. And just if try to bring 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 the history with us as we move forward. And try Sheila to... Neal or Carolyn Stewart where the, our historical society might have some. I spoke to mm -hmm. Sheila. Okay. She said she didn't have anything specifically about town meeting. Okay. Yeah. But if anyone else out there does mm -hmm. and would like to loan them or lend them. Yeah, we'd be happy to exhibit those too. So. I recently was doing some research and went back into the uh, annals of the, uh, what's that book called, the record, uh, they're not the land records, but they're the general miscellaneous records and they have old town meeting uh, uh, agendas and things, lots of interesting stuff. I mean, the people, Ken probably knows this, they used to pay people to put fry in the rivers, in the ponds. They used to pay people, no, that's before your time even. There's several, several entries where people were being paid for fry, and I said, what the heck is that? So finally I looked up at one of them, and it was about stocking fish. Oh. Oh. <laughs> interesting. Anyways, interesting yeah. stuff. Okay. Stephen? Yes, thank you. Great. Thank you so much for all your work. Thank you all. Um, we're right on time. I, we're, I, according to my watch, we're on time. Can we have, uh, Alfie, can we have the road commissioner's report, please? Sure. <laughs> um, pretty much business as usual. Um, we've had some weather that we've been working on, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. The not huge thing, but big thing that's coming up is Greg's going for an operation, as we all know. So he's starting to, his appointments are starting to be scheduled. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got that to look, look forward to. Uh, <clears throat> David Pike has been on board. He's coming when one, one of us is out. He's there to fill that spot. So I think we're in good shape there. How long is Greg expecting to be out? Uh, it's really unknown. Okay. Depends on it's, depends on the, yeah. Yeah, it depends, depends on, on what happens. Yeah. Right. yeah. Okay. Uh, I believe it's scheduled for March tenth. Okay. When he goes in. Mm -hmm. But there's you know there's a bunch of appointments coming mm -hmm. ahead of that mm -hmm. uh, where he'll have to be gone for a day or so. So just kind of racing my feet for that. Um, like I said, Dave's willing and ready to come to work when we need him. That will be right around mud season. Mm. So gonna need mm -hmm. somebody to drive a truck for sure to bring gravel and whatnot. So uh, <clears throat> but we'll deal with it. We'll handle it. Are you using Ed Eddie Rowell. Rowell at all? Hey, who? Are you Ed Rowell at all? Uh, no, Ed is not with us. Oh, okay. Yeah. He decided he didn't wanna okay. do it anymore. All right. Um, so it's, it's down to Dave. Um, how are you on um, materials? How are you on salt, good. sand? I just ordered a little salt yesterday, uh, or this morning actually. Okay. And so that will, they're really good about bringing it. So we're in good shape there. Great. Sand piles in fine shape, a lot of chunks because of the cold. But we're just handling them, moving them aside. Mm -hmm. Uh, trucks are holding in there. I mean, we've had a couple breakdowns with the oldest one, the 2013, uh, but we've managed to get it back together and still going. Okay. Um, the one 
thing on the agenda uh, is that I've negotiated with Hardwick. I think we've come to a pretty good deal. Uh, I don't know. If did you did you get this? Or? Did she yeah. give you one of these? I think it would be great if you explained it. Okay. Um, so I met with with the Hardwick town manager a couple of different times, talking about West Woodbury, and we have come to an agreement that he will plow it and give us two gradings in the summer uh, for six thousand hmm. uh, dollars. And they have already started. That started uh, a little over a week ago. And so, because we're halfway through the winter, he thought that he should get paid for half of the amount. So the amount, the six thousand that we agreed on, is for next year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so it only seems fair that we pay him for half of this mm -hmm. year, um, which would be three thousand dollars. And I don't know if a bill has come from them nope. yet. He said, yet. he said he was going to send one. So when that comes, I think mm -hmm. we just okay. pay that 3000 and that takes care of this winter. And then next, next, whenever we sign a contract with them, which we should, I, mean, I see we've got a draft. They're draft, right. Mm -hmm. So we can uh, finalize that and they'll sign it and we'll move forward. Um, I've assured him that if he needed anything, any gravel or anything like that, that's on us. We have to provide the gravel for the grading. Mm -hmm. But just to have him grade it, them to grade it, in mm -hmm. the, you know, twice throughout the summer, is a huge savings mm -hmm. for us. Mm -hmm. That's that's. I mean, I've done the math as far as the hourly and just driving the hour for with a grader up there or forty-five minutes, whatever mm -hmm. it is. Um, so, um. I'm happy that we have come to an agreement there, and they have also agreed to let everything in the past wash, mm -hmm. so they're not charging us for anything that was if they think we owe in the gray area or whatever, <laughs> right? So I uh, was pretty happy about that as yeah. well. Yeah. So was it your math that convinced them that their math was so wrong? <laughs> or did I, they do I, their yes, own? I, I mean, believe it was. I went up there and I. I mean, last year they were wanting like fifteen thousand oh, dollars. Right. Yeah. That's right. And that's just that was too much. I yeah. mean, I I I had it all spelled out oh, on good. a sheet. Oh, good. Oh, nice. I went into his office and I said, yeah. "This is what I come up with." Now, mm -hmm. how do you? So I think the twelve or fifteen thousand dollars that they were talking about was from back years, where they thought that they weren't getting their money's worth. Oh. <laughs> from the trade or the handshake uh, or whatever deal that they had. Okay. So <clears throat> I I told him, look, I want to start fresh. I mm -hmm. want to put all this stuff behind us. Mm -hmm. And if you're willing to do that, then let's talk. Mm -hmm. And he said he was totally willing to do that mm -hmm. and let's move forward. Great. So I did. I went with numbers and I said, because he said, he originally said $7,000. And I said, well, that's that seems high, but I'll go back and I'll crunch the numbers. So I did. I crunched mm -hmm. numbers, X amount of plowings, how much mm -hmm. money per truck, and then I figured the grading also. Mm -hmm. And I come up with, like, it was like 59, 56, mm -hmm. something like that. Mm -hmm. So we agreed on 6,000. Mm -hmm. And so that's where we're at. Okay. I, I think it's a no brainer for mm -hmm. Woodbury to take advantage of that. Yeah. Um, I think it's great. My only question is um, timing of plowing. Are, are they willing to make sure that the buses are going to move through there yep. to get to Hardwick? Yep. They, they're, they're there anyways. They're already plowing their portion of the route. Right. So we're just going a little further up this year, yep. and over. This, throughout this year, when I was going up there, they were always ahead of me. Mm -hmm. They were always ahead of me. So... Um, There'll be no doubt that they'll be they'll, they'll be, they'll be on the buses. Okay. So that's a bus route. So they must have bus kids on their part of the road they do. too. Yeah. Okay. It's the same yeah. set of kids. <laughs> well, it is <laughs> essentially right. Yeah. Right. Some of them live in Hardwick. Some of them live in Woodbury. Yeah. 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 Hardwick buses go. But it's the Hardwick buses. And right. And same and school. And I half those kids that. are going to yeah. Hardwick Elementary, and some of them are coming all the way over here to Woodbury. So. Mm. Okay. 
Alfie, thank you. Yes. Yeah. It's really helpful. Yeah, it's great to it's, great to have a fresh helps great to have a fresh start because it's now I'm I'm more can focus here in Woodbury instead of the <laughs> half an hour driving up there. Yep, it gets me to the schoolyard faster. It mm -hmm. gets me to you know I've actually taken a few roads over from the other two routes, mm -hmm. so it gets their routes done faster. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's just it's just it's going to be good. Just makes a lot of it's sense. Be a lot easier. Yeah. No, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Really helpful. As long as Self is talking, I would like to say that I had to talk with him this morning. I'm very unhappy with what happened last Friday. Now, if anybody else didn't have any trouble, I don't know how the hell everybody was. But he went away, and I don't know who he left in charge, but he's got a man over that's been working there for 20 years. He should have known what the hell to do. But they didn't plow out that heavy snow on top of the ice. Nobody could go mm -hmm. anywhere. We had to stop people all over town. Mm -hmm. You can probably get some complaints, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Huh? No. You didn't? Well, no. I think you did. No. Well, I got one from a person who just complains every time he comes to my house every day. Well, but the, the <laughs> thing was a whole mess, and, and I guess what I'm getting at the point is. <clears throat> He left this man. He had the day off. I found out after he was gone. Who? So, oh, Alfie. Okay. I, yeah. I was gone okay. For that day. So I wouldn't have mattered if I'd got a hold of mm -hmm. him or not. But he's got a man over there that's been there for 15, 20 years. Mm -hmm. So he certainly knows what ought to happen. Yeah. And it didn't happen. Huh. Now why okay. the hell didn't it? Because at uh, like about one o'clock in the afternoon, they just picked up the lunch boxes and went home. And we got roads you can't travel over. Mm -hmm. Because Friday is a day off and they have no more responsibility to the roads for Woodbury than that, they can go home. Hmm. That's, that's what they did. Now, I don't think that should just be let go. It did. Right. Well, Some people could have been seriously hurt. We couldn't have got an ambulance anywhere hmm. around the west end of this town. Oh. Right. Well, some of it is strategy, like I told you this morning. It's what? Strategy. Yeah. Um, you know, when it rains and the roads are frozen, if you've got a flat surface, it's going to turn to a sheet of ice. Yeah. If you leave that little coating of snow on there, the snow will soak up the water and prevent it from turning into a, a sheet of ice. But your so little snow turned into three inches, which the water couldn't do it. Okay. So well, somebody was, should have been around it, could have been contacted to clean out their roads. Right. If I was here and I see three inches, I would have, I would have ordered it plowed. Uh, you know, they but, went up. Uh, Andrews Hill, and they plowed out a low, and it looks like they just turned around, went back to the garage, and that's it. Uh, they didn't go mm -hmm. the other way. Yeah, they, if they if they plowed anything, they should have plowed them all. Yeah. I mean, I, I agree with that. Mm -hmm. we, yeah, um, I, I had a few uh, people stuff over on Tibbetts Hill, and I asked one guy, I said, why'd you get your sand? He said, I dug it out of the sand of the goddamn road, what do you think? <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> he couldn't get, you know, he couldn't find any sand. Where he was, you got a couple people stopping off the road. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was pretty, it was dangerous. And I bring up the point that the select persons are hard to reach because you were gone and I don't have the telephone number, I do now, but it wouldn't have done any good anyway. But we should have a, a place that we can reach people. We're, mm -hmm. we're talking about supporting the town, not, not about this other stuff. Mm -hmm. we, we work for the people and we seem to forget that. Mm -hmm. I don't mean to. Yeah. You, you, you're doing things in big time and all that, but you, you're kind of forgetting the little guy that's back there paying the taxes and having to put up with this crap. Well, I'm sorry and, for that. And it is crap. We've had some really poor roads. Mm -hmm. We've had them up here at the top where the granite comes out. I know for an instance that I went over the top of that hill one day, and that was before Elfie was here. And it was sanded up the top, all right. Yep. And then they went home. Well, I didn't go home because when I went over the top, I went sideways about 30, 40 mm. feet because it was glare ice. Mm. But being me, I drove back to the garage and yelled and hollered and told them what a bunch they were. And mm -hmm. your hired man there, your foreman, whatever, they went and jumped in his truck then and went up and sanded it. But uh, it's on the road up to where Randy lives. That thing just doesn't get any attention half the time. This they will run that sand us good, good and heavy because you got trailer trucks, that's fine. Then they'll kick it into a lean layer and it's so lean you can't even see it sometimes. Hmm. They're, not, 
then I'm familiar with what they're doing. They've been there a long time at me. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I can say that when I'm sanding, I'm sanding the same. They're all sanded the same. I'm not turning the thing down or up. I'm, I, they're all equal. Um, and I can, <clears throat> I can mention that. We do, we do spend a little extra time and sand on the hill for the tractor trailers because they're carrying enormous amounts of weight and they need to be, they need to have traction. So that might be what you're seeing up at the top of, of Cabot Road. Yeah. Sometimes it does get less. Sometimes we'll just go and sand that, that hill yeah. and turn around and come back, not go all the way to the other side. Well, that's and another, um, I've got, I don't want to take up too much of your time here, you got mm -hmm. important stuff, but uh, when your boys pile at the top of the hill, they don't turn around and come back. They come over through into Cabot, drive down the blacktop, and then come down over the East Hill. You know, why the hell are we driving the truck with chains on it down the blacktop over there on Route 2 or whatever it is, and then coming back down over the East Hill Road? Well, they don't. They go up Jug Brook. Huh? They go up Jug Brook, and they catch uh, East Hill. Yeah, but why are they doing that? It's, to, it's short a distance to turn around right where they are at the end of our route. Right. Like you go mine, I'm just below it. And go back over there and come down here and plow it. You'd be right. heavy game. Well, I think it, it makes a difference. It, it depends on the storm a lot. Yeah. Because if you turn around up there, then you got to come back down here all the way to the village and then run the blacktop down to catch East Hill by Woodbury Lake. Mm -hmm. That's all dirt. That's all dirt to go around Cabot and catch uh, Jug Brook Road to get to bring you to East Hill. So they're going right down to the pond, then hanging a right and going down and taking yep, another right. and then take another right. Take another the right. Okay. Yeah. It just gets the truck over over there sooner, and, you know, sometimes it's easier to do the loop rather than come all the way back. And it depends some on the storm, too. Yeah. You know, and the timing, mm -hmm. which which is a large part of this decision-making. Yeah. The time of day, when the buses are coming, you know, how much time we got to get out. Um, and, and as long as you've been in business, you know it anyway, but some of that stuff that you're telling these people to do, you almost got to draw them a picture. I mean, you can tell them what to do. <laughs> I hated art school. <laughs> but I'll, I'll try. I'll work on I mean, that. I, I'll work on uh, I think you speak to some of the former people, and you'll find out that mm -hmm. when they were directed to do a certain thing, they didn't necessarily do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you had a greater operator that graded the West Road. So he gets to the grader and he drives over to the West Road and he grades a while. Then he turns around, drives the grader back, down ground, has his lunch, drives the driver back over the town and starts home again. What the yeah. hell are you? Yeah, no, talking? I wouldn't be okay with that. Right. That was before your time, so I won't blame you for that. Okay. I, <laughs> I have big shoulders. Yeah, okay. I, 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 you know, I, I got a big mouth too sometimes. When I get fed up, I have Sorry. to talk <laughs> But as I said this morning, I gave you my, my phone numbers. Yeah. You have every one of them now. Call me anytime. Yep. Well, I, I think that that's another thing, and somebody else mentioned it, that the town report ought to carry not just the numbers the way you get them. You ought to have an emergency list in front of that book for different for people to pick up quickly and find what they want. But it's the select men, the doctors, you know. You, you can't, you pick up a hundred directory, just like I was looking at you. I mean, mm -hmm. you can spend a lot of time in one of those little books trying to find a person's number. Mm -hmm. And if you get four eyes, I tell you, you can't even find anyway. At least on the, at least on the website, you have both of my numbers. What? At least on the, on the website, I don't know. It, I don't what? do websites. All right. Uh, I've been here too long. No, it's all right. I'm uh, sorry. Uh, uh, my, my apologies. My number's in the book, and I have called our Alfie. We don't have the select board numbers or emails. No, they don't put them the in book. there. They're not in the book. No. They're and only on the website. I, I've, I've called Greg before if Alfie wasn't available, but not. And when you okay. said that I had heard complaints, were you talking about the visits that I got? I don't know. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm not <laughs> okay. You're pretty good at that sometimes. I mean, after all, you've served three years on the board with me, so I must know. Yeah, I learned a few things. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. all right. Sorry, I have a lot of stuff, but I don't want to overload you because your, yeah. your shoulders aren't that broad. Yeah, that's fine. Oh. That's fine. <laughs> call me. Like I said, call me. We can talk about it. Mm.
you know. I, I see things that bothers me because it, it's not done that way. I've been on these roads. My father was a road commissioner. My brother was. I've been, I mean, everything. So we have a pretty good feeling of what we're walking mm -hmm. over. Yeah. You know, we got roads from Woodbury that people don't even know are there today. Like over at the Four Farms, they go right up over the mountain. And we used to work that road. Wow, yeah. really? It's, it's something different. I mean, we was, <laughs> we was doing our own blasting, we was doing everything. I mean, sure. you know, it's different, but right. it's, right. a, it's an awful lot of work. And, and it seems like we're wasting an awful lot of time with these damn people with the cars that want to park beside the road. They want to get a little piece of land and set where they shouldn't set, and then you're fooling around with the mm -hmm. judge and paperwork. And there's, there's got to be a stronger way to do away with those people. We, you've got more important mm. things to do mm. than diddling around with people because they pack the cat. We're supposed to vote. I mean, <laughs> something needs to be done. Mm. And I'm, I'm, I'm afraid if uh, my friend Chuck was here, he would get excited and probably something would be done because he'd probably put the goddamn car right down over the bank and <laughs> into the ground over there. But we're going to have to pay for it. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, that's where I'm at. Hmm. Well, thank you for your... We, need, we need more cooperation between the slick board, the slick board and, and the people. You hmm. people really like, have a tendency to like to make all your decisions, and I know you have to, some of them, in, in your take out time on your slick board. I mean, <clears throat> if you've got a decision to make, yeah. I don't remember well now I'm getting told. But you may take that into the back room with you so the public don't get to hear it. And that's all right in most cases, whether you're talking about personalities or contracts mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But other stuff doesn't need to be hauled to the back room mm -hmm. because the people ought to know about something. So we've got this, which we didn't have even 10 years ago, which is a, you know a great opportunity for people who want to know what's going on watch HCTV. I mean, even if you don't have a computer, you can watch. Oh, you can, well, no, I guess you can't. If you don't have Comcast, no, no. forget it. No. <laughs> it's not going to work for you where you I are. I in it, no. Yeah. <laughs> no. But uh, you used to have a couple and, and brother and all, but they drove the horse buggy down from Westbrook yeah. to attend town meeting. Mm. That was quite a trip, the Milton Queen and her escort. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we put their picture in the town report a few years ago. Marcia had some pictures. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you mm -hmm. didn't get one the inside of a house. <laughs> okay, I'll shut up for five minutes. Mm. I might think of something else. <laughs> Alfie, anything else that you want to bring up? Um, I don't think so. Uh, Brandy and I have been kind of working on grants together, trying to get just so we can get things together. Okay. Uh, as, you know, as it goes. So the valley, so the cover here has not been designed yet. No, that's the engineering. That's, that's the forty-five. That's the forty-five K that we have to work on with Michael. But the. That's not. I mean, that's for the whole project. That's not for the design work, that's right? That's just or, for the design work. That's just the design work. Forty-five thousand dollars is correct. Whoa. Well, that, that's a question I like to ask. You'll get me asking questions here, but why do we have to have people out of Montpelier telling us what to do, putting the damn cutoff down over the hill up here, right down over? It's it's plain. All you got to do is look down. You can see where the road's mm -hmm. got to go, and you see where the ledge is. You know where I'm talking about. We're not good. We're not going to do that uh, this we're time. Not, we're, not, we're not doing it. You're not going to do it. Right. Correct. Why? We're not going to get the state involved because when you do, you have a lot of uh, there's a lot of oversight. Well, why and, do you get the state involved? You and the, 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 oh, that's what we're not going to. Right. We're not getting the state involved because no. the guys have figured it out between Chuck and Greg and Alfie. They have figured out what they can do on their own without going out for grants. It's going to use the same, you know, budget money that's already budgeted, and well, I think it should be interesting. That last year. Yeah. Yes. You and believe that, it? That road it hooks onto was made without a permit from the state. My <laughs> father made that road. It goes all the way out to the county road. He made it in the winter because he couldn't get anywhere, so he made a goddamn road. That's all we've done that since. <laughs> the state paid for it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But. 
It's too much. We're not we're not doing anything for people. We're not. Yeah. With the uh, things like culverts and stuff, I think sometimes you have to have the state involved, but. Well, but we're just moving around. When, yeah. when we're looking at interconnected, interconnected stream systems, the yeah. state has basically a set of priorities yeah. for those interconnected stream systems and the roads that are immediately adjacent to those. If we have recognized those, we can get grant money to help with those systems. If they're not interconnected, mm -hmm. then it's up to us. Yeah. And then, even if they are interconnected and they can do it better, that's what we do. And we don't go out to the state for anything. <laughs> but we do have to recognize those interconnected systems because the state expects us to put those on a map. And also, if the state's going to pay for it, you know, I mean, sometimes... That's a driving factor, too. If there's grant money available, then we let them say what we can do. Now, that, that grant money is very attractive. Yeah, well, <laughs> sometimes. It's, it, at least you're not paying for it right out of your immediate tax dollars from Woodbury. Mm -hmm. Not immediately, but I'm No, paying. you're paying for it no matter what, sir. <clears throat> so so am I. Right. Tough, the guy I had... Campaigning over here in New Hampshire the other day. <laughs> oh, I uh, just for the record, I would uh, I would rather not be on the select board. So if you want to take my job anytime, <laughs> it's yours. Yeah, you come back 25 years later and it's like a whole different ball game. Well, I, I used to I be was, fun. Uh, and for 16 or 17 years, yeah. and, uh, we mm -hmm. didn't get sued too many times. I know. We, we might have got rough a few times, yeah. but we got things done, yeah. and, I, and mm -hmm. I'm, I'm proud of what we did. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. still standing sounds, today, and sounds great. Uh, I can't see why we're putting more money into some things, mm -hmm. especially when they fail. And, and right now, I'm not sure you're aware of it, and I'm not positive because I haven't walked it. But what about that big beaver dam up top the hill up there that we can't touch? And if that lets go, this whole goddamn road's going to have again same as before. What can we do about that? I don't have a straight answer. I'm sorry. I don't have an answer for you. I, right I this second. You know, if the person won't let you onto the grounds, then can the state help you? Yes. Help. Uh, they can help us with remediation and removal of the dam. Because that's going to let go again. You know. It will. That's that's for you. They're going to build it up, and it's going to come down through there. And that's pretty expensive. I agree. Yeah. Send Michael up there. I suppose he could crap him out. <laughs> we'll leave Michael alone for the time being. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Alfie, any other things that you would like to mention? It seems like you've gotten through most of it. Yep. Sounds great. All right, um, it's a little after 6.45, it's now 6, uh, 6.56, Cranberry Meadow Wetland, what's so, our status? Yeah, this has been going on for three years, as you all know, and um, the Vermont Housing and Conservation Board is ready to give us their $10,000 so we can buy that wetland and preserve it. Um, but there's a bunch of strings, and they're not really strings, they're just procedural things that have to be done, that have to be taken care of. So I sent you a copy of this grant agreement, Michael. And oh, I also idea. have given you, here is a paper copy with a bunch of notes that are helpful that shows a lot of the things that are required here, the staff at VHCB have agreed to do. Thanks. Because I whined a lot. And <laughs> well, you, why didn't you tell us all this stuff before? You know, if I could have taken, gone and asked for $10,000 from ARPA money, it would have been a heck of a lot easier. But ARPA money wasn't around three years ago when this whole started. Even COVID wasn't around. So um, you probably want to continue to look at this, and maybe when I, Michael comes back, we yep, can... I can't do it without without this, looking through it and without talking to Michael. And this, and, yeah, we've gone through, we could go through bit by bit at some point, but 
What this grant agreement does is just say, yes, we're still interested, and but they're not going to give us the money until we do these various things, one of which is a management plan that I'm going to meet with the Conservation Commission about. I don't know what, what we could do as far as management. The first, first set of documents that they sent had all this information about forestry and you can only do this and that and all this, for, and, and there's no forest there. So I said, please take this out. They explained that the reason that was all in there, it was boilerplate because if the town sells it someday, somebody else needs to know. Then I said, no, they don't need to know that there's forestry restrictions because there's no forest. place to have a forest. There's no access. This, so anyways, they're rewriting the grant restrictions for okay. me. And uh, maybe we can look at this. I've got another copy for Michael and maybe we can look at it at the next meeting. That sounds great. Well, I'm happy to look We're at it at the next meeting for after, closing, uh, after I've had a chance to actually at least look at it. Closing, uh, hoping for a closing in April. April? Yeah. Holy crap. Okay. Yeah. So. All right, well, that gives us a month and a half. That's mm -hmm. nice. Yeah. There's a bunch of stuff. Chris Green is is representing us on this, the legal stuff, and he doesn't seem to have a problem understanding all this. Stuff. Chris Green is doing yeah. it? Yeah, Chris Green. So he's communicating directly with the attorney down there on okay. what has to be done. All right. Anything else about that, Miss Diana? Yeah, I could go on and on, but I don't think we need to. <laughs> no, I think for now, <laughs> until we actually get to review it, yeah, there's no way to really have this conversation. Yeah, most of the, you know. There are still a few questions, like they did include some conditions here about the us as the grantor. No, wait. We're the grantee. We're the grantor. Grantee. We're the grantor as far as we buy the property. That makes us the grantee. At the, and that, right. But then we're going to sell the conservation easement or give the conservation easement to BHCB. So at that point, we're the grantor. But they're talking about having to provide stewardship and monitoring. And they had told me already that by having by VHCB holding the conservation easement that they're going to be doing they're going to be responsible for the monitoring and stewardship. So I reminded them of that. So they're going to have to redo this anyways. So. All right. Well, we're off to a start with it. Yeah, it's hard. I really, you know. It's been three years. It was just before they shut down the nursing home in March of 2020. And it was just before that that this whole thing started. <laughs> Most of the parties have since died. My mother and the owner were both on the same hall at uh, Woodridge at the time, so we, you know, started negotiating. <laughs> and then everything got shut down, so even the attorney couldn't get in there to sign the purchase and sale agreement until the following, until the summer. But, yeah, going. All right. Yeah. So it is 7.02. Um, other business. So I realized that a couple meetings ago we agreed to pursue that large animal ordinance. Mm -hmm. And I'm just not, can't do it, don't have time to write and go through the whole process. So um, I thought we could look for a volunteer. And I found one already. Yeah. Skip Lindsay said he would work on that. Really? Yeah. Well, I started really it, so I, I started it, so I will oh. talk to Skip. That's oh, okay. great. Oh, okay. Awesome. Because yeah, so when, has... when no one else says yes, the <laughs> chairman has to say yes. Oh, right? really? Oh, man. Right? I didn't know. The chair has to say yes when no one else says yes. So I'll talk to Skip. That's so we great. have both. Uh, we have... I'll send you both, or I'll send him. Make sure he has... Yeah, would you copy please? of the Callis ordinance and 
uh, um, that's a PDF, I think. And I also have a Word document of the Callus Ordinance. And then there's the article from the Times Argus. I think whoever's writing this should look at the actual court decision because the court did yep. point I, out some things that I were got a missing. copy of, I got a copy of that. Oh great. So and Skip also had a ordinance that similar ordinance that he had started working on back when he was on the board. So yeah. Awesome. Yeah, he's great at that. All right. Um I'll talk to Skip. Mm -hmm. And push that forward as best as we both can. Do you need any any action on this? Do yeah. we need to take any we, action on this? We deal don't have to take or? action on it. I don't think we have to take action on it right now, do we? The assistance agreement on the on the because it's only with hard it's, it's only a draft. Or are we good? Well, well, if you want to make changes, is what we're looking at. Okay. If you want to make changes to, to the it, draft, to right? To the draft. There will okay. be. So we'll have the fiscal year yep. this year, twenty-three, yeah. and then we'll have the fiscal year twenty-four um, contracts. Um, but if you don't see anything that we need to tweak on them, you can email me. Uh, um, I I, okay. I haven't looked over it in detail, yeah, so I would rather. Mm -hmm. Alfie, if you're okay, mm -hmm. I'd rather read it and be good about it. Yeah. And then send things to Ms. Brandy mm -hmm. and have yeah, it have it be authorized. With it, well, okay. we can bring it to them, and then mm -hmm. if they're satisfied, they sign, and we have a legal contract. I would rather it be reviewed think, as efficiently I think as possible. They're probably going to send us an, an invoice for this year. They're already they're, doing they're, it. They're, they're, they've already started. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, they're starting. Yeah, it. that's fine. Yeah. So, which is still in the it's in the budget. It's all it's all you know shouldn't be an issue. But that's probably the most immediate thing is if they get a check for the three thousand mm -hmm. okay. they're not gonna be in a rush for the contract. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. That's fair enough. Okay, so any other business? Don't look at me. I'm, uh, I'm I know. You can go for closer. I'm sure. Come on, something. I <laughs> have something. Yeah, you got a lot of something. You got a new neighbor yet? What? Have you got a new neighbor yet? I don't know. Hmm. I, don't, I don't know my neighbor. I only met him eight years ago. I wouldn't see them twice if they been there. But you don't come up with a million dollars every, every day. I know. A million ten, I think. I don't know if he's going to oh. sell it or not. Mm -hmm. The people want to say that money don't want it back in the woods. They want it somewhere where they got a scenery and stuff like that. Mm. Not, and other people to see them. I know. And see, mm. see, he hasn't got much of a place for viewing stuff and keep putting a really? bundle of work into it. You've got all the view. What? You've got all the view. Well, I got the view. You've yeah, got I a got great view. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a great view. Yeah. But he didn't put his house up high enough, huh? And, Interesting. And my father didn't pay for it the first year. I mean, I had to pay for it all the way. <laughs> yeah. Okay, any other business? Hearing none, may I have a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. The meeting of the Woodbury Select Board for February 13th, 2023 is adjourned at 7.07 p.m.